Sports Talk 1080, the team Orlando's talking O'Neill. Mike and I do a weekly upset pick in college football. It's Friday going into the big weekend. Uh, our executive producer of our radio show on Sports Talk 1080, the team Orlando, is Ryan. Ryan is a pit guy. Ryan gave me this oily pit hat suggesting that Notre Dame would go down at Heinz Field. I wouldn't wipe the oil off my garage floor with this. It's garbage. They're garbage. I said when Notre Dame went into the Keystone State, that's Pennsylvania for you little kids who didn't know that, is that they would do a one done in Philadelphia, one done in Pittsburgh before going back to Indiana, South Bend. Okay? I said the final score combined would be 48 to 20. Are we going to do our upset picks? Temple scored you're, 20. You're going to take Notre Dame in an upset? What's going on? Temple scored 20. <laughs> Pitt gets none. 24 nothing Irish. All right, you got an upset pick? I got Yeah, I got an upset pick. I, I'm a little bit torn on this one, only because I don't know who the quarterback's going to be, and that's a weird feeling to have when you're going to pick an upset. Last week, Oklahoma State fell behind huge early right. to Texas Tech and rallied back and scored 70. And, you know, they got a late pick six or whatever, but 70 70. You hang 70 on somebody, you're doing something right. Right. But they switched quarterbacks during the game. They benched uh, Rudolph and they went with J.W. Walsh, who was the starter last year. Both the guys have a lot of experience playing. They can score points. TCU has been giving up points. Not lately, to their credit, they haven't. But this is the only matchup this week where we have two unbeatens going against each other. It's True. being overshadowed by oh, some yeah. one loss right. teams playing unbeaten teams. But I'm going to say at home, Stillwater, they've beaten them the last two times they played in Stillwater. I'm going to say Oklahoma State outscores TCU and gives the Horn Frogs their first loss. That would be a huge upset. I mean, when I say huge upset, it would upset the apple cart only because we still have this fondness for TCU and Baylor more toward the top when Oklahoma City, uh, Oklahoma City is obviously – or Oklahoma State, rather, is obviously one of the unbeatens now of the 10 that remain going this into the This is their weekend. chance to earn some respect. Gabby is the one who tapes our segments <laughs> behind the scenes. Yay, Gabby. Uh, she thought I would pick Florida State to beat Clemson. Yeah. Hell yeah! What, are you kidding me? Yeah, Clemson, I've said, if Notre Dame played Clemson and it wasn't raining sideways and blowing 30 miles an hour, they'd beat them by 10 anywhere. Any time. But I digress. Are you going to break down into tears? Reminiscing? If Everett Golson starts, uh, Florida State and, and Dalvin Cook, if, if both those guys are, are ready to roll, and I think they will be, I think they win the football game. I think this is a game that Jimbo just loves. He's a double-digit underdog at Clemson. With respect, Dabo's got a great team. Good kids on both sides of the ball. Deshaun Watson... You know, was the real deal last week in helping to assure that there was no upset at North Carolina State. I'm not saying the game won't be competitive. I just think that I've said all along, this is a Florida State team, though they had that field goal blocked and returned for a touchdown in the final play of the game and lose to Georgia Tech. They lost. Uh, and that's a bad Georgia Tech team. I don't know whether Florida State could rebound and get to a Final Four, but I think they're worthy of this opponent. I think they're as good as this opponent, and I think they thrive at the opportunity tomorrow afternoon, 3.30, Saturday afternoon on 3.30, uh, to go out and take on Clemson at Clemson. Amazing nugget on that game. It is the first time Florida State's been a double-digit underdog against an ACC member. Oh, I don't they doubt joined it. the conference in 1991. This right. is the first time they've been a double-digit underdog. I think they're going to get beat. Let me throw you one more. Good, do Th- it. This is a curveball. This is going to make him laugh, all right? I-, I don't have the courage to do it. I just want to say it out loud to see how it feels. Right. Indiana, I guess, wears th- this kind of color. Cream and crimson. Yeah. IU over Iowa. That, th- <laughs> why should that surprise? Iowa is garbage. Mean, they're why unbeaten should that garbage. Surprise? Indiana's lost four straight games. They suck every year, and Iowa's unbeaten. I'm just saying, look out. Keep an eye on that game late in the fourth quarter. Indiana might put 50 on them. Trust me. 50? Yeah. They're not putting 50 on them. On Iowa. Iowa blows. Play somebody. They don't. Oh, God, you rolled Iowa State yeah, that, earlier that this year. That winning Camp Randall sucked. So yep. 